So if you're actually pretty good in basic math, you should be able to quickly tell me whether this is right. And the problem is 0 0.02, is this equal to the fraction 2 tenths? And we're gonna do this problem without a calculator. Okay, so if this is right, put that into the comment section. If this is wrong, put that into the comment section, but just make sure to justify your answer either way. And again, no calculators. All right, so I'm gonna fully explain all of this in just one second, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, we have 0 0.02. Is this equal to or equivalent to the fraction 2 tenths? All right, now, if you uh, kind of forgot the math here, and you want to use your calculator. You're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, if I had my calculator, I know how to check this. Well, go ahead and use your calculator just to kind of double check your conclusions. But uh, let's see exactly what's going on with this problem. Now, before I get into the math here, let me go ahead and tell you that 0 0.02, the decimal 0 0.02, is not equivalent to the fraction 2 tenths. And if you are able to figure this out without a calculator, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. That is fantastic. Now uh, here, if we did have a calculator, what is the easiest way to check this problem? Well, what you could do is take two and divide it by 10 in your calculator. And uh, you'll see you will not get a 0 0.02. You will get a 0.2. So if you had a calculator, that is the easiest way to check this work. But I think without a calculator, most people need to focus right here and look at the place value of 0 0.02. So we're talking about something again called place value. And a lot of students forget their place values because they'll say this decimal right here as 0 0.02. However, if you looked at this decimal in terms of how you would say it out loud, and you said, well, this is two hundredths, and I think most people wouldn't say it this way. They probably would say 0 0.02, but if you said two hundredths, well, that is super impressive because this is how we know how to write the fraction for 0 0.02 or two hundredths. Okay, so zero is in the tenths place, right? So this is the tenths place. 2 is in the hundreds place. And then, of course, if we had other digits, let me go ahead and make a quick example up here. So if we had a 0.3578, so uh, 3 is in the tenths place, 5 is in the hundreds place, 7 is in the thousands place, and 8 is in the ten thousands place, right? So uh, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, etc. So this is what we call place value. So the way you can write a decimal as a fraction is to interpret its place value or say it. So instead of 0 0.02, what we want to say is two hundredths, right? Now, I'm not going to write this out because that's a lot of words here. But two hundredths means the fraction 2 over 100. Okay, so if you take 2 and divide it by 100 in your calculator, you'll get the decimal 0 0.02. Again, if you did have a calculator, you could take 2 and divide it by 10 and see that this is going to be equal to 0.2 because this means 2 tenths, right? So the way this works is uh, you want to determine the place value, and that will be the denominator. So in this case, 0 0.02, because the 2 is in the hundreds place, we put a 100 as the denominator. Then, of course, we have 2 as the numerator. Okay, so hopefully uh, this is a quick review, and I'm sure all of you out there uh, learned this at one point in your life. But uh, let's take a look at a few uh, practice problems just to make sure we understand place value and fractions. So we have the fraction 7 over 100. What decimal is equivalent to 7 hundredths or 7 over 100? So is it 0.7 or is it 0 0.07? Or is it 0 0.007? All right, so hopefully you said 0 0.07 because 7 here is in the hundreds place. 
So 0.7 is the fraction 7 tenths. 0 0.07, we have to again identify what place the 7 is in. That's the hundreds place. So when you're thinking of this fraction, we need to get this number 7 in the hundreds place. And 0 0.007 is equivalent to the fraction 7 thousandths, right? Okay, so now let's do a problem where we're going to write a decimal as a fraction. So here we have 0.15, or we can say this as 15 hundredths. All right, so what is the equivalent fraction for the decimal 0.15? Well, it's as easy as saying it as uh, 15 hundredths, right? So 0.15 is equivalent to the fraction 15 over 100, but we can simplify this fraction by uh, dividing 5 into 15. That's 3, 5 goes into 120. So anytime you write a decimal as a fraction, make sure it is fully simplified. Okay, so hopefully this was a nice quick review of place value. People tend to forget this because most people probably would say this decimal as 0.15 and not 15 hundredths. But if you remembered uh, your place value, that is fantastic. Now, if you need additional help in basic mathematics, make sure to check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course or my Math Foundations course. You can find links to those courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.